Greetings from Show Me Birds Hunting Resort. My name's Kim Shira. My wife and I, Claudette, own the resort. Thank you for your interest in our traditional field hunts. Traditional field hunts, in our opinion, is with bird dogs. Our pheasant resort is not walk and block like they do in some of the western states. Twelve guys in a cornfield, a pheasant jumps up, all twelve people shoot. That can be fun, but uh, wait till you try it our way. This is behind three or four highly trained pointing dogs trying to interact and outsmart that pheasant. The pheasants go by sight, the dogs go by smell. So this interaction between the two is an amazing combination. We've had many hunters tell us we could just leave the shotgun in the truck. This is all about bird hunting the way it was supposed to be. We have pointers, setters, Brittany's, short hairs, LU pointers, 240 pointing dogs on our traditional field hunts and 110 labs working on the European side of program. It's an amazing place, only a place like it in America. Now this all started 20 some years ago as a bunch of just good old country boys wanted to do some dog training on our own family farm and grew from that to the largest pheasant resort in America, over 65,000 pheasants a season. There's no place like this comparable in America. And this is because hunting pheasants with the pointing dogs is such a grand thing to watch. We're going to talk to you about habitat, birds, dogs, all this as this little short video progresses. But right now, I just want to say thank you for your consideration. Please consider Show Me Birds for your next pheasant adventure. We'd love to have you come visit and show you what our pheasant hunting is all about. Thank you and may God bless. the subject of pin raised birds. I know that's a bad word for a lot of you watching this video. I fully understand and I agree. It's dessert. I've been on the National Board of Directors for six years. During that time period I watched the development of pin raised birds or propagated birds as we call them over the course of America. I know pretty well everybody in the industry that produces birds of any magnitude and everybody's goal for the last 15 to 20 years is to overcome the image of pin raised birds. Proud to say, Show Me Birds is one of those. We started out 23 years ago breeding our own birds. What we did is we decided what would happen if we took genetics and nutrition and flight pens and created a bird that could be as good as a wild pheasant. I'm happy to say about five years ago, we passed that. Yes, I'll say that again. We passed that and we've tested it and proved it. What we did is we took six and a half miles of flight pins. Yeah, you heard me right. It took 20 years to build it all. We have six and a half miles of flight pins in 12 locations. That gives the bird plenty of room to expand his breast muscles and to fly like a wild pheasant. The next problem we had to overcome was genetics. I hired Danny Barngrover from K-State University as my animal science specialist on staff. He's still with me today. He's my right hand. What he's been working on is a genetic bird that will be superior to anything you can see out in the wild. We have our own hatchery, and in this hatchery, at full capacity, we can hatch 25 to 29,000 pheasant chicks a week. This is Danny's special bird that we hatch and ship to other hunting resorts all over the country. That's where a lot of those wild pheasants came from. It's the building right outside, but that's a big secret and we want to tell you about that. But any rate, this hatchery produces our own genetic blurred. The next problem we had was nutrition. Everybody thinks pheasants love to eat corn. Well, pheasants eat corn because there's nothing else out there for them in the wild. Corn to a pheasant is Twinkies to a human being. Imagine living on Twinkies, it's full of carbohydrates. What we did was create a 46% protein diet with the help of Jeff Bozart, our feed nutritionist, we can take nutrition to a level that a wild pheasant can't get. So we've combined six and a half miles of flight pens, our own genetic bloodline of birds, and our own feed mill to create a feed recipe that a wild pheasant can't get. An example, gentlemen, think about what's happened in the last 20 years with white-tailed deer. Look what kind of deer man can produce with genetics and nutrition compared to what nature can produce. On the pheasant side of things, we've done the same thing. We started out trying to match a wild pheasant. We've surpassed a wild pheasant. We'll prove it when you come to show me birds. We're gonna show you a pheasant that can go from ground zero to out of gun range in two and a half to three seconds and reach a maximum speed of 45 miles an hour in just two and a half to three seconds. It's an amazing place, guys. 
There's a reason we're the largest pheasant resort in America. It's our pheasant, our staff, our dogs, and our farm. A major part of our success at Show Me Birds has been hunting ring neck pheasants with pointing dogs. This is not normal. Most generally it's 10, 12 guys in a cornfield, maybe one Labrador retriever flushing or retrieving birds for you. We walk to the end of the cornfield, up jumps a bird, everybody shoots. Okay, it's fine. But have you ever tried that bird dog style? What we're doing is hunting ring neck pheasants like you and I may have grew up hunting bobwhite quail. Two or three guys, small groups, farmed just for you, all the bird dogs in front of you, anywhere from three to four dogs, one points, three honors. These dogs have had a tremendous amount of bird shot over them because guess what? They were born and raised at Show Me Birds Hunting Resort. If you lived at this place, we could turn the Taco Bell Chihuahua into a dog because of the high volume of birds that are harvested each year. So the dog show is tremendous. That's what real bird hunting is. Got a son or grandson, daughter that you want to show them what real bird hunting was? This is the place. It's a very exciting event to watch the birds and dogs interact between each other. Hunting pheasants with a pointing dog. That's the real star of the show. That's the real program here. And that's been a big part of our success. We have pointers, setters, Brittany, short hairs, LU pointers. You name all the major breeds, we've got them here. Over 240 pointing dogs and 110 labs working here. It's an amazing event, guys. You will love the Show Me Birds bird hunting style with pointing dogs. Let's talk about habitat for a minute. That's a big part of our success, along with pointing dogs and our bird. You've got to have the right place to hunt them. Our bird is so explosive without the proper habitat, you'll never get close to him. Now, Normal farming practices don't apply here because of that reason. You can't get close to the bird. An example, Western Kansas, South Dakota, farmers plant with a 30 inch row planter. We plant with an eight inch wheat drill. What we're doing is over planting the cover so that we can get this bird that's going by sight to hold. He doesn't know there's four dogs on point and he's standing under the grass because he can't see. So the dogs are going by smell, the bird's going by sight. That allows us through habitat to get close to the bird to show you the dog show that we really want to, you to experience while you're here. So habitat is a big part of what we do. Lots of native grasses, milo stubble, hedgerows, plum thickets. As has been described to me, it looks like what farming was in 1950 when we had plenty of quail around the country and plenty of pheasants. That's the habitat you're gonna see when you come here. You will think there's a pheasant every step that you take. Here at Show Me Birds, our staff is absolutely, well, I, the easiest way to say it is in 20 years of business, I've not had one complaint on our staff. It is just unbelievable how dedicated these men and women are. From Chantel, our head cook, who's going to laugh while she's serving you lunch, all the way down to the guys that just feed and water birds and take care of the kennels. The staff here is unbelievable. Counting dog handlers that work here for the European shoots, there's 70 people working, helping, and employed here at Show Me Birds. No other hunting resort in America has a workforce like that. It's unbelievable what the guides do. They go out morning and afternoon, seven days a week, nonstop for six straight months. These guys are total professionals, totally dedicated to everything that you need when you walk in the door. You walk in the door as a new time hunter and come back as a friend and that's what show me birds is all about we're going to treat you like family it's good southern hospitality our staff is second to none and a lot of these guys have been here for 20 years since the day we started come see us we'll show you why we're the largest pheasant resort in america it's for good reason show me birds hunting resort at the end of this little broadcast you're going to find our phone number you also find our website at showmebirds.com. 